TLO, what's poppin'? We are on kick, K-I-C-K dot com. We are live. By the time you see this, we probably won't be, so just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Uh, if we go live and you happen to miss it, this is where the highlights will be on this page. Uh, don't forget, we do got merchandise. I understand, you know, money's tight. At least go check it out, though. Check it out. Uh, and we got the Patreon. That's where we react to things we can't react to on YouTube. And we got a Discord, you know what I'm saying? Plays a vital role on kick.com. <laughs> Anywho, the links to all that is down in the description and uh, in the link tree. Click it, everything pops up. This is 16 shots. Unalive in Angel Town ride out gone wrong. Ride out gone wrong. It's by Scar City News, man. Reporting for the hood. <laughs> or reporting for the mandem. <laughs> or reporting just real news. Angel Town in Brixton, South London, was the scene on the 20th of August 2020 of a birthday party for the rapper Styx. Styx is a pioneer rapper for drill music in the UK, one of the earliest artists to make it trend and also grew in popularity from 2015. His birthday party would end in murder and himself being seriously injured after a ride out went wrong. During the COVID lockdown of the year 2020, all music venues, pubs and clubs were shut down. So people often celebrated occasions such as birthdays outside and this led to large gatherings. Yeah, and in this case, it attracted the attention of enemies from a rival area. The rapper 16 Shots, also known as Salim Kadu, and two other members of a Stockwell-based group called ABM, entered the Angeltown estate in Brixton in a stolen Volkswagen Golf. And so they went looking for problems. They spun on their ops. They got the low. They got the drop. Okay. And Mr. Kudu, who is a prominent member of Team Raw from the Stockwell area, comprised of several different blocks, was going there with the intention of trying to kill him. This way too smoky. She don't, she don't even know. On the, on the pitch, man, moving, dominant, prominent team. She want to fuck with the blockers. Oh, so. Bearing everyone stay. Okay, I understand. Six and 16 shots have been antagonising each other. He was said in court with diss tracks in the run-up to the August 2020 confrontation. And both of them released music videos on channels like GRM Daily, Pac-Man TV and Press Play. It was revealed in court that the tables were turned on 16 shots when he entered the Brixton estate with the intention of murder. The car that he was travelling in crashed and two other men that were inside the vehicle fled but police found 14 rounds of ammunition and this led them to believe that one of them was carrying a firearm. At this point... A section 60 has been put in place covering the postcode areas of SW9, SW4, SW8, SE11, SE5. This expires Friday 20. Anyone with the 16 shots was left in the car, and our co coverage from the scene at the time shows that the car was upside down. But they said in court that 16 shots was carrying a black panther machete with a 45 centimeter serrated blade, and he got out of the car and attacked Sticks, leaving him with multiple injuries. He was then chased down by other members of the gang, and he was murdered. At the time I reported that police were called at 5 to 6 on Thursday the 20th of August. No offence to any parties involved. R.I.P. to everybody who lost their life. I do not condone this. 16 knew what he was doing. He slid down the ops block. Got his car flipped. His homeboys ran on him. But that ego made him get up out that car. And still progress, still, you know what I'm saying? Get on that with buddy, with, with sticks. And unfortunately, he brought a knife to a gunfight. I'm going to let you know in the city of Illinois, in the city of Chicago, 16 shots, no offense. That's a free M. That's a free M. I don't care what nobody say. That's a. In the city of Chicago, you slid down this block. You got out on dummy. You sliced up one of the guys. Self-defense. 
to reports of the fight in Overton Road. The ambulance service attended and so did the air ambulance and one male believed to be in his 20s was suffering fatal stab wounds. He was taken to hospital and another man suffered injuries and was also taken to hospital but he's not life-threatening. The feud between the gangs in Stockwell and Brixton isn't new and it dates back well over 10 years as was reported by the Guardian newspaper in the year 2012. We're not going to sit here and act like we don't know what's going on here. Uh, all parties involved knew what was going on. It's just Angel, Angel Town, you know, don't slide down there unless you're really fully prepared. They said you're not going to slide over here like that. <clears throat> oh. No offense. R.I.P. to 16. This was in relation to the violence and the pace in which it had increased and the amount of deaths that were connected to certain groups. One of the most prominent groups was Gas Gang that stood for Guns and Shanks and this is one of the main reasons Metropolitan Police created the Trident Task Force with the intention of trying to combat gang violence in the local area and they associated 80% of murders in Britain. Yeah, YouTube, I don't condone none of this, but you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit here and pretend like... <laughs> like nobody didn't know what was going on. This is clearly a ride out going wrong, literally. At that time, to the group. And it was only this week, on the 13th of July 2023, that a second man has been jailed and convicted for the murder of the rapper 16 Shots. Yasin Bullock, 21, was convicted of murdering Selim Kudu, 20, a.k.a. 16 shots. And this was one of three murder trials. In the only reason they're getting convicted of murder is because they ran him down. He was running away from it. I think in the UK, you can get, what the, you can get off with the self, of, like, you can get with the uh, self-defense charge. You'll just get charged with the firearm, right? Or, or, or no. I'm not sure. I know in, in, in the States, if you have an illegal firearm and you happen to use it in self-defense, they will not charge you for the, the M, but they will charge you for uh, unlawful possession of a weapon. October 2022, Darius Kwake, 29 years old, was convicted of also murdering 16 shots. And the sentence took place at Woolwich Crown Court on Monday. The judge, Mr. Lee, said, you both took part knowingly and you had the intention to kill. The tables were turned on 16 shots and you took advantage of this and participated in premeditated murder. Mr. Qua premeditated? He slid on them. How is it premeditated? RK was jailed for 19 years and Mr. Bullock, who is also known as KTN from the local area, was jailed for 17 and a half. Hey, I ain't even gonna lie, like I said, free, sh I mean, RIP 16, but I don't agree with, the me personally, I don't agree with that charge. Free the bro, free the guys. Three, free them. He's still in on them. <laughs> half years. M Dog who is a rapper from Brixton and part of 150 and also Lil Rass was found not guilty. During the trial it was established that there were several different music videos that were released after the murders and one of them was by KTN and he made reference on September the 17th 2020 in a music video that he was a flick knife pro and this was used in court and Mr Glasgow who was the prosecution told the jury 16 shots were stabbed more than 30 times and the injuries he sustained were catastrophic he was stabbed so wait who let off the shots then so 16 shots in them slid let go of the gun for like boom boom they shot emptied the clip apparently and then got chased down after who let off shots is what I want to know did his lungs his liver and also his stomach the defense also said that there was a lot of provocation and most of this would have been self-defense but it was only the fact they chased him out of the estate I told you what I tell you only reason they locked up is because they chased him that man ran let him run
and then stabbed him, that it became murder. If they were just defending themselves while he was attacking them, they quite easily could have proven that it was self-defense. It would be nearly two years later that rapper Perm, who was known as Lamar, was gunned down in Brixton, South London. A delivery driver was also killed during that incident and the Metropolitan Police said they were called at 10 to 8 on Sunday the 13th of October to reports of gunshots and Dave Nathan, our reporter, went to the scene and seen the car that was surrounded with... Yeah, damn, Brixton, in the south side of Chicago? What's going on over there? ...bullet holes and also the bike that the delivery driver would have been riding. Perm was part of the Brixton group and the police believe this may have been a retaliation for incidents that had occurred before. But even nearly a year later, nobody has been arrested or charged with the murder of Perm or the delivery driver. And this shows how serious the violence is in the local area and how this has not got any better in the time since the murder of 16 shots. One way the police have been trying to control drill gangs and the way that they communicate via the music is criminal behaviour orders which were put in place for the first time with rapper Digga D when he was part of a group called 10 11. This Diggity led the wave of negativity. Made sure that the artist couldn't mention anything to do with murders, anything to do with gang violence, and they couldn't mention any postcodes or anything that implicated them in criminal activity. And this was something that became very popular with the police and a lot of different rappers across the country have been issued with these CBOs. And in some ways, this would definitely have stopped confrontations from escalating. But this story has been covered for the past three years and I really appreciate everybody that supports the channel every single day and make sure that they try to share, like and also comment on all the stories when possible. I really want to hear what people have to say on this and please don't forget to follow on social media as well at Scar City Studios and I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Uh, like I said, man, I said everything I had to say. Uh, if any of y'all watching this... <laughs> R.I.P. But you know, I, I got to break it down in reality for these people. The reality of it is what I said. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. Hey, hey, hey! These are stories over a three month period.